hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel my name is vishal in this video let's have a look on the insert tool in the edge actions of zbrush so i would like to pick the z modeler first by selecting it from the brush palette or press b z and m there hover the cursor on the edge and hit space bar to select the insert so i have a target uh, which has two options one is the single edge loop and multiple edge loops single edge loop is uh, pretty straightforward click and drag and you can add a loop anywhere in the model we have uh, multiple edge loops that opens up a lot of options here the first one is interactive resolution in which i need to click on the vertical edge to get the horizontal loop going through that then when i just click and drag vertically you should be able to see i'm adding more lines here as i keep drawing that in the vertical direction if i drag horizontal dra direction it should give a curvature but let's see uh, the other options here so i have the specified resolution which is here okay when i just click it doesn't allow me to drag but it will give the specified resolution which you have picked here right now it is 8 maybe i can put it to 16 and then you get more number of lines added so that's uh, interactive and specified resolution now specified elevation is uh, zero uh, by which i'm not getting any elevation here as i'm clicking and dragging i don't get anything but uh, if i just choose interactive elevation now click and drag vertically at loops and drag horizontally it gives this roundness you should be able to see that nice roundness along the uh, the added lines so we got the smooth elevation which is going to give me a better curvature smooth elevation is uh, not really showing up so let me just choose the specified elevation of uh, maybe 160 and then you should be able to see that elevation is fixed so when I just choose this to negative and then click, it goes inside. So we have this interactive elevations. Now I'm just choosing this uh, smooth elevation here. You should be able to see that smooth elevation is very much fixed and it's not going beyond what uh, I'm dragging. I'm not getting anything more as I keep dragging like that, like that. You should, I'm not getting this way. It's uh, very simply just adding that lines there. It's taking a curvature and it's not working here you could see but it's working here uh, so we have a, a spine uh, we have radial we got linear we got flat so spine is basically how this curvature is okay let me just choose it to radial okay this is uh, not taking that circular shape but it's taking a, a sort of mountain shape and then we got the linear it gives a very sharp line as you saw in the previous one we also have the flat which is going to give me the flat extrusion there like that so we have different types and then we also have the spline controls there okay the way the interpolation is so the highest value for the spline radial and linear is 100 so we got uh, per uh, polygon per normal so when just clicking and dragging, you're getting this result. But when I just say click to normal, you should be able to see only the clicked faces are coming. Uh, the, the extrusion is applied while the other faces are moving in the same direction. Average normals, okay. It's going to average the normals. In this case, it's not showing up. But if you got a very unique curvature model, then you should be able to see the result here. So we got alternate polygroup here, which is giving me the polygroups which have got different colors here. Every alternate loop has got different color. We got same polygroup, which is going to give single polygroup here. And then keep polygroup doesn't add a new polygroup there, but it just keeps the polygroup there like that. So we have all these options here uh, for the insert mesh. It is a great tool to add loops into the model. It's, it's generally to add resolution in very specified place. Uh, if you got any questions related to this uh, tool, you can ask me in the comment section. Or now uh, you got anything to say about the video, please let me know in the video in the comments. I request you to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.